Look at that. Set it spinning clockwise. It stops, rattles, and then reverses. The rattleback, sometimes called a celt. And I've been collecting these for many years. These are all rattlebacks doing different things. Well, all doing the rattleback, but for different principles in case. Here's a nice, smooth, beautiful one, but again, it rattles back. Beautiful. There's two ways of doing the rattleback. One is to have a, an asymmetric hull, it's called. Instead of going straight down the center here, this has got an offset to the hull, an offset angle. It's got a, a bias to it. And that helps, that's what makes it perform. But you can also have a, a rattleback, which is like a boat, but it's got a perfectly symmetrical hull, but has off-center weights. And here you can see them clearly. They've been put on the, on the top instead of in the middle. And this will also perform as a rattleback, even though the hull is perfectly symmetrical. And here's one which is clever because it's got off-center weights, but you can turn it over. So this way it's going to perform without rattling back. Turn it over, it's a rattleback. If you want to make it rattle back the other way, turn it back and now you'll do it anti-clockwise and it'll rattle back from the other way. Very clever. These ones, of course, won't do that. They haven't got the extra curvature to the top. A friend of mine, Vladimir Krasnikov, in the late 80s, came up with a lovely version of this where with a perfectly symmetrical hull, which this one's got, it's got off-center weighting due to these turtles. If I set them like this, it wouldn't rattle back. If they put the, the turtles in the middle, it, they have to be off-center like this, and then they'll, they'll rattle back. They don't like going backwards, incidentally, so they'll turn around. And notice what's happening here, because this is a particularly good one. This actually does at least three or four motions. The first primary motion, when it stops, is to rattle back end-to-end. -end. And on the second reversal, it'll rattle back from side to side to side. So let's see that again. It's end to end, and now it's rattling side to side, and it's re-reversing, and sometimes you get an extra one just going that way. It's superbly balanced, that one there. Here's a couple more big ones. My friend makes left and right-handed versions. This one I marked as right-handed, but in fact he makes another one going the other way. And here's a particularly beautiful one made of very fine wood, and again, that works superbly. I think the best I've ever seen was a Polish chap at the Frankfurt Gift Fair who had ones about this size, made of mahogany, 2,000 Deutschmarks, whatever that was in present day money, but superbly done. If we go down to the scale to small ones, there's a little tiny plastic one here, which is like a little canoe, which a friend of mine, Uwe Meffer from Hong Kong makes. It does rattle back, but just but ever so light. And the fact that it does work at all was amazing because there's so little inertia. If you set it the other way, it'll just keep returning and sort of wiggles and almost does a reversal, not quite. It, it definitely wants to do the one single reversal. A little Pacific War canoe, perhaps. Very common ones are these ones here. The, I think the original mill was made by a company in New York Stitch. What I like about these ones, as well as being rattlebacks, they have little extra features to them. So this one, for instance, is a clear one and will magnify. So when you put it over print or your hand, it'll magnify the image underneath. But it's a rattleback as well. Well, this one here has got a bit of diffraction cord on it. So it rattles back, but if you illuminate it with some light, you get a little light show as well as it rattles back. Let's set it spinning again. Wow, very pretty colours, all rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Either way it'll go. Then we can do simpler, probably the most advanced one. This one here was a metal one, I think made by prisoners in Switzerland. And it's very heavy. And on certain surfaces, I've had this battling back about five times. On this surface, it does about two rattles. Now it's rattling from side to side and it reverses again. But I've had this sometimes it's rattling five times, which is astonishing. So there's two principles here. You've got to have the boat itself, the rattleback itself, and the surface has got to have certain properties as well. You can get very simple. For instance, <laughs> this is a little spoon that's been bent over, a teaspoon. Would you believe it works? This way it'll just turn round and round. But the other way, the usual clockwise way, it doesn't like it. It rattles and reverses and goes a long way around on the reverse direction. Isn't that astonishing? An even simpler one is made just with a plastic spoon. It had the handle snapped off and you just put little paper clips in it to give the little bit of bias, the, the off-center weighting. Give it a little gentle spin clockwise. It'll start rattling and slowly turn around the other way. Just a tiny little bit of movement. So over many years I've collected many, many dozen, perhaps a dozen and a half rattlebacks, but I've also been aware of the extraordinary number of papers produced on rattlebacks. Here's my sheet of paper from whew, many years of collecting. Here's one from a French article on it, showing that perhaps primitive man discovered the rattleback originally back in Stone Age time. 
<laughs> well, here is a hopeful patent taken out in 1992 by some Americans thinking they've invented something completely new and they can get a patent on it. I don't think so somehow. And lots and lots of articles about it of the subject of the rattleback. There's another feature though of this which I've only come across recently, that is there are a few things out there, well no, perhaps several thousand, which are rattlebacks unintentionally, accidentally. This is a craft right, knife which a, a friend of mine in Japan discovered and it's a perfectly good craft knife, very sharp and very practical. But he set it spinning and it spins quite normally, but he set it spinning clockwise and rattles back. An unintentional rattling object, URO. So how many things out there rattle back unintentionally. I think myself probably several thousand are accidental rattlebacks because without realising it they will actually do this extraordinary operation. So we'll set you all out there and we'll see if you can all go together. My rattleback collection. Take it away boys. Wow, there's movement, there's movement. Wonderful, all rattling. How many can you find? Thank you.